Hello and welcome back to me playing Shadows of Arm. Last time we killed the Lich and I didn't find the spell trust spell that I so dreadfully need. Ward, ward. This time around I informed myself better and I know where spell trust can be found. More specifically I also know how to kill Liches nowadays because apparently I'm the biggest ignorant in the world, the trash of all trashes and uh, a complete idiot, moron, hideous player of Baldur's Gate that doesn't know what the hell he should be doing. That said, uh, let, me throw, let me just take off the knight. Perfect. That said, um, let's check it out. I have no idea. Apparently, you can find spell trust in this very town. Where? I have no idea. Seriously. Uh, one of the merchants should have it. I believe the merchants are all down here, so why the heck not go here? Maybe, I mean, not here, here, here. Go inside, you idiots. So, apparently me, scum, sub scumbag of the earth, uh, lowliest man of uh, the living and uh, poorest tactician ever, didn't know that liches are in fact... People, shut the hell up, I'm trying to talk here. Uh, that liches are in fact immune to every spell from 5th level onwards, so breach uh, spell trust or lower resist don't work on them. They don't don't really work that way. That's why Nalia here, Miss Nalia, when she hits level twelve, will all be happy, I believe, because she will get Pierce Magic, which is a level six spell, which dispels one spell of effect from eight level or lower, and it starts from eight level, and it lowers the resistance by ten plus one per caster's level. So very similar to low resist too and of course this does work on liches however it doesn't completely destroy the barriers and protections that liches have against lower spells therefore magic missiles will never work on liches that being said let's find that spells of ours I mean it's still very useful uh, spell trust because it simply destroys spell she uh, hello I'm uh, Yeah, you should actually talk a bit uh, louder because you can't hear anything here. You must struggle. Through struggle we grow stronger. Uh, I should really, really lower, uh, raise the voice uh, sound and lower the ambient sound, huh? Strength comes through wisdom and pillars. One must be flexible to accept the things that come. Struggle only brings futility, my son. Struggle and adversity bring strength, not futility. War and violence weed out the weak and unhealthy, strengthening all. And I am not your son. War and violence are the results of the weak-minded, my friend. When they occur, it is as it, e it is as a result of failure rather than success. Bah! Let me show you what comes out of that philosophy, friend. Hunty? Yeah, boys? Show him what becomes of his philosophy. Right, boss. I hope you know I am only being proven correct here. Nope, we're not allowing that to happen. You're dead. You're so dead. Lowly scumbag. There you go. There you go. No, 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 don't talk to that guy. Talk to this guy. Oh, fool, you spilled my fun, will ya? And I was winning that argument too. Now I hope you know all the violence was completely unnecessary. You've rather invalidated my entire argument. I know I did, but I protected your goddamn life, you stupid idiot. Beggar philosopher. Now there's these people. Give me spells. You don't have. Oh, you have scroll case. Give me that. Oh yeah. From this moment forward, I'm giving you the scroll case. May you be happy forever, War. Give me spells. Hello there. What? Are you serious? I, I remember this belt, I always bought it, but I didn't remember that he sells it. I haven't really played this game in a long damn time, huh? This is very, very good as a, as a belt, to tell, tell you that. What? Also the Cloak of Displacement. 
Should all put all this to notes, I mean. There's so many good things. I've I've seen also the stuff of striking right over there, but why should I buy this one when I had that other one be oh hello there. A clap plus three, that's not bad. Anyway, uh <laughs> let's move onward. Apparently they are not the idiots that sell scrolls, spells, what you wanna call them. So where are they? Probably in the tents down here, huh? I don't know if I ever went here, maybe I went before I could really get them to give me anything, so let's see what they have. Hello. Ho oh, friend, welcome to the tent of pleasure. <laughs> I've been here for over a week myself, and I can tell you that the prizes are well worth it. Who are you? The name is Wilfred, Wilfred the Red of Flaskan, although I'm sure you've probably heard of me. <laughs> Adventurer extraordinaire, and currently living off the excesses of the most recent plunder. It's quite a story, a tale for the ages, you might say. You wouldn't happen to be a bard, would you? Well. I'd be happy to regale you with the story anyway, if you're willing. Ah, uh, I'm listening. Great. So anyway, there is a traveling uh, through the Trow Hills, right? I came across the large cavern, warm steam coming out of it, and forbidding smell of brimstone and such. Uh, yeah. A dragon, I think to myself. And being Wilfred the Red, the great adventurer, I walk in and challenge the dread beast. Thirty feet high he was, with wi a wingspan easily three times that, red as blood, Come and e no. Lilacor, I understand your impatience, but... Yeah, okay, give me a second. Red as blood and eviler than a cockatrice in May. I slew the beast naturally after a valiant struggle. A few minor scorch marks were all I suffered for felling the beast and its hoard was mine. More gold than you could possibly imagine. Too bad I was by myself at the time, I could only gather as much gold as I could carry. Still, it was enough to make me plenty wealthy. Plus, it was a good deed, which is my forty. That's very impressive. I know, isn't it? But don't take my word about this place. Talk to the Mr. Jean and experience it for yourself. This is the place to be e to be if you got the kind to spare. Well, I've gotta go. You don't have the kind to spare. He's a liar! You wretched liar. Yes, yes, yes. Hello there. Yes. Scrolls? No? Scrolls? Scrolls! Give me scrolls! Uh, I greet you strangers on behalf of my family and in accordance with Tron tradition. I didn't know the Roms actually came all the way to Ferrin. Anyway, I'm Kverslava. Yeah, she's Slavic, I guess. The mother of the family and its heart. If you wish, I can tell you something of, the, of your place in the future. A mere ten gold pieces, should you desire the benefit of my gift of insight, good man. Certainly, ten gold pieces it is. As you wish. Come and sit beside me, good man, and I shall take a hold of your hand. Close your eyes and let Kveroslava feel your aura. You're a strong man. You have powerful blood and a destiny that shines so brightly. It is... It is the blood of a god that flows in you. But you are not alone, there is another. Another who calls to your help. For, for your help. You for help. I mean, oh, Jesus. And I see a man, a dark man whose life has been taken from him. I see this other, she screams, she screams. There is a beast, a beast of terrible power and a dark man. The exile, he smiles, he smiles. I, I, no, no more. Please forgive me, good man. Your puff has overwhelmed my limited gifts. You frightened me. I wish you good fortune. See you around, sucker. So we have an exile and a someone that calls for help and uh, a beast and he smiles and whatnot. <laughs> Who could believe that crap? That's a lot of balonies. Okay, let's go inside here. Hello. I bet you sell things. I bet you sell things. I bet you know sell things. 
None of you sell things, I mean. Jesus, are you kidding me? I have no idea. Oh, my god, this is the most useless episode. Fine, ten, long, ten minutes longer. Decided. Who cares? Minsk, could you please take your sweetheart's time and get inside here? Thank you. Okay, let's see. Bells. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> okay. And our sequencer, huh? Oh, we have that already. Ooh, hello there, sweethearts. <gasps> mine. Ooh, mine. Yep. I like that. That fog is super powerful. It actually kills liches. Believe it or not, it actually hurts liches even when protected. Therefore, good fun. <sighs> Finally. Flame tongue seems to be like the most common blade ever. Oh, I was here? I was here! God damn it! I didn't even remember. Ah, oh, Bother. Bother of all bothers. You could really use some identifying skills, Nalia, you know? You kinda suck right now. No offense. Now, let's see if we can identify this, this guy. Well, just one of them, anyway. Uh, yeah, you handle it. I know it's bolts, but who cares. I might as well sell these ones. I mean, they're useful, especially the one of Cloud Kill, but you know, the one of Cloud Kill is also known, better known as the one of Cheese, and I don't really want to use it. It can kill dragons just like that. So yeah, who cares? Uh, let's see now. Yoshi has already a ring of invisibility. Nalia though has a ring slot free, so I will give her this ring. Perfect. Let's go now. We're all happy after all, right? It is interesting to me that the most ardent builders of cities Wait. look to nature Wait. for their forms and Wait. tools. That's obvious. Have you never played Minecraft? <laughs> Silly man. Let's go to Humor Hills now once and for all and start the quest line of Humor Hills. Now we really have the spells that we need. Sure you have a patient, and we're happy. I don't. So, sorry for this 12 minutes delay, but it was very much worth it, I believe. Lord. Talking to a rom. Anyway. Hello. I don't recognize you. You must be new to him, Is there something I can help you with? We come because the little boy Delson. Delon. Delon. Sorry, not Delson. Delon said that there was evil here in the need of butt kicking. And good for us that we have our boots on. Yes, sir. You did. Then the boy did get to the city after all. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. You... You have come to our aid then, yes? I would like to know more about what's going on here first. Um, yes, of course. It's gruesome business. I'm sure that little Dayon told you some of the story, but I should elaborate on it for your benefit. We've had a run of killings and disappearances here as of like. People murdered in their beds. Their bodies disappearing. Bodies found with the skins inside out. Normally we would turn uh, to our local ranger protector to aid us in a time like this, but our ranger Marella has vanished. Several men went to her cabin southwest of the village and they found no sign of her. It is not like her to be absent for so long. I, I fear the worst. Soon after, shepherds and farmers from our, the outlying holds began disappearing. People heard strange noises at night, and we have no ranger to turn to. Everyone's frightened, but they're scared to leave as well, else they get caught out in the wilderness by whatever has been doing the killing. And of course, everybody has ideas on who, on what's behind all of this. It's the ogres, my husband, you know what it is. Um, yes, my wife, Hena. And yes, many people think it's the group of ogres who moved into the area just before killings began. Likely ears too. They're in the hills. Too close to the village, I say. Yes, you can find them in the hills a bit north of here. Of course, others think it's a pack of very large wolves that's been ranging in the hills for some years now. And still others claim Yuma herself, the great witch of the hills, has returned. Legend has it. She was responsible for death, much like this one's. Huh. That is just legends. Humor has been gone for over 500 years, my husband. Yes, true. 
I suppose I should warn you. I've been uh, I've already hired the famous knight Messi Fenton and her troop. They they uh but they uh, haven't been back. I don't know much about this humor, but this sounds like some kind of evil magic. Perhaps the ogre is a powerful mage? It's a possibility we shouldn't ignore. Both ogres, witches? Oh my! It is too much for means poor have to comprehend. Which e of these are evil? The edge of my sword shall find the truth. To be honest, I think you should check on the ogres and their fellows before chasing out after legends and such. So, will you be? Will you help us? Um, sure. Uh, what kind of reward are you offering for this? Um, my village is in dire need. I'll tell you what. If you end the murders, I will give the ar you, you the armor that belonged to our far first ranger protector. That was my ancestor, and I've kept it. I'm told it's wrapped up with strong protective magics. I'd be happy to offer it and some gold to save my village. Uh, very well. I'll help you if I can. Oh, most excellent. Please, my lord, go to Morel's cabin and find where she has gone. My men are too frightened to go to that far from the village. Her cabin is west of the village, in the valley. It, it should not be hard to find. There are others, older cabins in the hills, abandoned for many years, who go north from here to, riv to, the, ri to the river and find that Madolf and his beasts. I have little doubt that they are responsible for all of this, but we must be sure. I am relieved you have decided to help us. You have to ra the run of the village, my lord. If you need anything else, do not hesitate to come to me. Oh, most glorious day! One step closer we m come to be being true heroes, yes indeedy! Even little Boo's fur stands on and, and from his anticipation. Sorry. Sorry for the bad reading, mostly. <clears throat> Alright, so it's night time. We don't want night time. Trust me. And that's even more night time. That's daylight. Perfect. Yeah, I know it's a loss of time, but who cares? We have time on our side. Now, first we're gonna go to the mud Muddle of the Ogre and the guys, which are just north of the village, right over here, and see what happens out of that. Hello there, sweethearts. Hold. You're a half-elf, but you's not a human village. Why you come? What you want? Ing. What you wanting? What you, what you wanting? I think that's how you read it. I don't know. I want to know why you're killing people of the village. We no kill no humans in village. We no want trouble with humans. Uh, how do I know you're telling the truth? Always mothers and fellows be chased and hated because I'm me an ogre. We just want to be left alone. We come here on one moon ago, tries to settle for a while, yes? Soon afterward, after we come, fellows begin to vanish. One, two, they go. So Some turned up killed, skin missing. Somebody's vanished too. Maduf no, 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 who killing us? Maduf worried. Numbers get smaller. We like here, but something bad is here too. Killing us fellows, very bad. So I'm just killing your people too. What do you think it is? Maduf no, knows. Maybe wolves, maybe bad magics. Nobody sees what kills fellows. Comes at night, though. Maybe it's the shadows. I see. So your band is no better than the village. I'll be going then. Wait! You not attack us. We need you bring war to human village. Humans run when Madulf goes. So me needs you... Oh my god, this is so hard to raid. So me needs you to do it for me. Use bring war, yes? What kind of war do you need brought to them? Madulf no want death. Madulf no want fight. Just want peace. You tell villagers, maybe that Madulf and fellows will protect village. Protect them from orcs in mountains, yes? Humans let us stay then and call knights. Maybe let us come once in a moon to trade for goods and for food and goods. Madulf make deals with the village if you tell them. We no want ma want trouble. Alright, I'll tell the mayor what you've said, but I can promise anything. Madulf happy. Maybe fellows can live alone and did God, God. I wanted to say good. Sorry. Good. Be happy here. You do good thing. 
Maybe humans agree. Madulf, keep deal. You tell them. Okay. Okay, Madulf. I'll go to the Minister Lloyd here and see what he has to say. He's the boss after all, isn't he? <clears throat> As I said, this would be a longer episode, so yeah, that's something. Uh, oh! New subscriber! Woohoo! You're 120 now. One more and I'll be hitting 100 there. subscribers ever since I started Let's Playing. That's not bad. Yes, my lord? Is this something you need? I've spoken to the Ogre Madolf, and I do not believe he nor his fellow followers are responsible for Imensvale's problems. What? But but I was sure that those monsters were the killers. What makes you so certain that they were, are not? Madolf has had his own people going missing, much as, much the same as yours. He is worried as you are. Ooh, that isn't good news at all. If ogres can be worried, what should we be? Actually, Madolf sent me with a proposition. He and his people will provide protection for the village in exchange for peaceful relations and a bit of trade. He... he has? I... I must say, that might not be such a bad idea. If the ogres can be... can be trusted, that is. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, my lord. I will have to go and talk to them, I suppose. We could both benefit from this. Since... Since the ogres are no longer a possibility, all I can suggest is you, I can suggest is you go to Marella's cabin. There must be some evidence of what happened to her. Bye. Alright, so let me check this out first. Show. I need a lot to level up. He needs a lot to level up. He needs neutrally a lot to level up. She's very close to leveling up, and so is he. Yeah, she's the closest to leveling up. Huh. Never think now. Okay, so. She hits level 12, right? She will get these spells available, which is good. Tensor Transformation, Pierce Magic, Disintegrate, Improved Haste, Death Log. There are so many spells here, you don't even know where to start. Hmm. Does uh, this go? What is this again? Protection for magic energy. This is a good spell. This is a very good spell. Can be very useful. Does he have... Yeah, he has True Sight, which is good. Okay. Hmm... Uh, uh, he has level 6 spells, but there isn't a lot of things going on here, right? Drew animals is it, uh, is the best call for the moment. Harm is good. Harm is excellent. It takes down to l one hit point of the target, so it's very powerful. However, it needs to work. On a successful touch with the priest, the spell reduces the target to one hit point. The next attack that the priest will, makes will inflict this effect, however, he only has two rounds to make the attack before the spell fizzles. Also, if the priest misses the target creature, the spell is wasted. There is no saving throw. So yeah, if Cerned hits something while his hand is harmed, every single hit points but one go away. So that's good. You are not as serious as many druids I have met, Salm. Right. Some even disapprove of me because I am... I am... I... Hmm, I don't really know why. Who will not tell me either? The great wind that shakes the tree causes many to dwell there to fear for their safety and curse the lost earth. The same wind will cause many enough to fall, and in this, the forest is renewed, providing even more space for those that you could say just say you you could just say you don't know. Who makes more sense and he does not have thumbs. Walking up. Damn straight he doesn't, Minsk. Damn straight. Wait a second. There is a door here? I didn't know that. Where does it oh yes, okay. yes, yes. that solves a mystery. <laughs> okay, let's go to Morella's cabin now, shall we? Sorry about uh, all the thinking going on around there, but I was thinking about what should be done after this quest, you know. There is a quest line which is hard, but it's super rewarding and I so want to do it. 
But then again, there is also another quest line, which is a bit easier and is also very much rewarding. And I also want to do it. I really want to do all major quest lines. I'm not saying I will complete the game 100% because it's very hard to complete 100% of the game without knowing exactly what you have to do. Okay. Welcome to Morella's cabin. Lord. Hello. What is this? Merle's journal. You skip many of the entries of, of times and place far removed from your current worries. Flame Rule 7. Chachi came to visit again, a sweet child eager to learn my ways with the wild creatures. Flame Rule 12. Dark creatures roam the forests. Several townspeople have been slain by some unknown predator. Everyone seems to... Uh, seems to have their own opinion of what is doing the killing. The strangest thing is that the bodies are disappearing in the morning. In the morning, this leaves me baffled. For most signs point to a pack of wolves that we have been in that have been in the area for a long time. Wolves don't steal bodies. Flame rule thirteen. Or perhaps I should say wolf-like creatures. At night, while I've been patrolling, I've been caught, often caught shadowy glimpses of these wolves running alongside me. I've tried to attract their attention, but they're ignoring me. They ignore me. Sorry. I find this most strange, as if the pack is being controlled by someone else. Years ago, I spoke with the pack leaders, and they were cordial. Now they either flee from me, or, and I fear to say this, they stalk me. Flame, flame Rule 21 It is near noon and still the wood outside my cabin seems full of shadows. I have been hard pressed to hear birds and most of the larger animals have long fled. I plan to find the wolf's den this afternoon. I have drawn a map to it. All signs point to them as being the culprits. But what wolves act like this? They are wolves with the cunning of men, and there is something else, a whispering in my mind. It is faint now, in the walking hours, but while I sleep I dream only of the voice and the face behind it. Whether it is connected to the voices, I do not know. I suspect that time that I suspect by the time that the sun sets tonight, I'll have the answers to my question. Last journal entry. Whoops, I... Hello there. Bones. It looks like some violent struggle has been taken here. Someone was killed and dragged out of the cabin. There are few footprints in the blood that they appear to be dog or wolf prints. Whoops. A note from Messy Fenton. Wallach, we traveled this day to search out the wolf lair. My own scouting of the region has confirmed Morella's suspicion that there are there is a larger pack of wolves acting in this area. On the map included, I have indicated where I believe the wolf den is to be then to be located. Follow us if you can, but be cautious. We can ill afford another mysterious disappearance until we meet again, Mazzy. On the same sheet is drawn a crude but effective map which indicates the path to a forested area several hours north to the Demon's Vale region. You have quite a treasure there in that scroll case. According to the scroll lore, the scroll can restore a Horadrim star. <laughs> I don't know why I put that Horadrim in the end, but never mind that. Ah, Deckard Kane, you old chum. Ah. Uh. Okay, bolts of lightning gets his guy. Remind me to install that mod that uh, gets me the bonus merchants later on. Uh, should really go speak to the minister right now. Maybe I get the reward for talking to the ogres already. I'm not sure. I think you get the reward for uh, convincing the ogres to help only after we have completed the quest line and find the walls. <laughs> Wolves. Ha! We can deal with wolves, can't we? <laughs> I'm bad at lying. I got an email again. Yeah, the email's like crazy nowadays. It's nothing important. Private stuff. Anyway, move on, Nalia. We need to move. Oh, bother! Yeah. As much as I talk, you cannot do this right now. 
We have to go to the area northwise, the temple ruins. 12 hours north of Humor Hills. Let's go. Whoops, it's night time. Whoever Hello likes night time, surely don't. So, let's check it out. You will not steal my vengeance! Bye bye. Please, death, too many! Yes! Walking out! Well, there's a Shadow Fifth here with the book. The journal was found on the body of the Shadow Fifth slain, slain warrior that you stumbled upon near the entrance to the Dark Woods. The last entry is of particular interest. Nothing is as I'd imagined that it would be. I expected to become hero when I joined Bessie Fenton's party. I expected that we would slay monsters with ease and bask in the glory of victory as they do in the old tales. But this is not as it seems. I did not expect the drudgery of the march, the casual horror of slaughter, the smell of death everywhere. I swear I can taste it. We've killed so many shadows and black wolves that my brain has become as numb as my arm. I'm covered in ichor and but I, uh, ichor, but I but have not the energy to even clean myself. If not for Mezzi, I think that I would be mad. She is a constant source of strength and always reminds us of the innocents that these beasts have killed of the horror that we must take upon ourselves to save the people who have no defense. Mezzi is the hero here, not I. The battle has only just begun. Today we arrived at the entrance to the ruined temple. It was crawling with shadows. Were it not for Mezzi's quick thinking, we would surely be dead. There, there were far too many to fight, but Mezzi used the stained glass of the ruins to reflect what light we had, illuminating the entrance and sending the shades to their doom. While the stained glass caught the light, we were able to find a pocket of safety. Any shadow that came within were destroyed by the light. Tomorrow we will make we will attempt to enter the temple and the darkness. I have never felt such dread. I try to be as brave as Mezzi, but I cannot. I feel the horrible, in, in, inescapable urge to run, and when the battle is joined, I can only hope that I will not. Sad story there, dude. Sad, sad story. I, mean, I think I can just throw these things away, can't I? There's no reason to handle it. Right, so we have a wolf yeah, here, or yeah. better, a werewolf, yeah. who wants a vengeance. Shadows that are killing things and the candy is destroyed by light, and Mezzi Phantom! Who God knows what he is. I know. Bad things! Curse you and curse the world! Can a wolf not enjoy her last meal in pieci pieces? Yeah, pieces. <laughs> Got it. Uh, you disgusting fiend. No, 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 that's not nice. We've come to put an end to the evil of you and your wolves. You've preyed on your last innocent. My wolves? Ha! No longer, fool. The pack has fallen under the fell magics of the Shadow Lord. Your hunting has gone awry. You suggest that this sh Shade Lord... Oh, Shade Lord, not Shadow Lord, sorry. Shade Lord is responsible, yet here you gnaw on the carcass of a human. Why would I believe such idiocy? I don't care what you believe, I speak the truth. This place was not always like this. Floating in a false and unholy darkness, it began only a short time ago. The ruins to the east of the den have, lo have long been a place of foreboding to my pack and I. <sighs> I'm bad at reading. We had no desire to tre tread the ground of the fallen temple. The temple was once dedicated to Aminator, a god of the sun. I think it's Aminator. Am Aminator or Amunator or something like that. Aminator. I'm gonna say with Aminator, like Terminator or something like that. A god of sun. And the great prof prophetess is buried within. It was holy ground once, though now it is fouled. It is obvious that Ammonator's power has uh, waned. For this, for e for if this was still his consen consecrated ground, my God, I'm bad. 
Well, it's, I guess it's after 45 minutes, 35 minutes of reading. My doom would never have arisen from the bowels of the temple. Go on. Some weeks ago, muted rambling. Okay. Some weeks ago, muted rumblings were heard beneath the temple. We paid little heed to them until the skies darkened and the shadows deepened. It was high noon when it happened, and the pack gathered so that might that I might calm them. I thought it were it, it to be an eclipse. It was not. The Shade Lord came among us then. He dominated my wolves, my children, with a glance. I changed form and leapt at his darkness, but he merrily laughed. And that, he said, bent to my will, you shall be the means of my revenge. He walked amongst the terrified wolves and killed them all with what touch. Once they were all dead, his darkness reached out to the corpses and of my children and animated them as shade wolves. Numb with terror and sorrow, I ran. I've hidden these last few weeks from the shades that once were wolves and from the darkness that creeps out from the temple that once imprisoned the Shade Lord. I will, all, will hide no more. This man I killed only to gather strength to face the Shade Lord. He wants to... He wants only to kill and those he kills, be, the, be they man, thing or wolf, arise as shades in his army. Will you allow his, uh, will you allow me this revenge, or do I have to fight you as well? No, we will not. Oh, no, wait. Shade Lord seems to be the true source of evil. We will help you kill him. Meet me in the temple to the east of the of this den. Be wary of the shadow that lurks there. Make sure you. I'll prepare it before you enter it. <sighs> Give me a drink, please. Some water for my poor... Poor... <gasps> my voice! My poor voice! Okay. Just a second to catch my breath, please. This is intense. Woo! Three more minutes. We can do this, Laura. Three more minutes. So we'll drive now, I mean, we will walk now towards the temple and see what happens. Hello. Shade Wolf. It's time to use our new weapons! Attack! Okay, stun doesn't work on him, but if you noticed, uh, Yoshimu would have stunned it the first hit. Not bad, huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's better. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. Let's see how well out it is. Shade wolves aren't really a problem, are they now? My brother's plus twelve hackmaster. <laughs> Sorry, Lilacar, I was interrupting you there. Just testing around the audio. Uh, this might be a bit too low. No, I think this is gonna be okay. Sure, you have a patience. Cause I don't! That's right, you don't. Let's move. Hello, Shadow. Now, Shadows can oh, level drain you, I believe. No, they don't. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. They don't, but they can the strength drain you. Not permanently, but... Ow. There you go. I got strength drained by two points. That's actually a sure bit. Thing. That's kind of a bit, yes. Still think this audio sounds in the background are a bit too loud? Then you tell me what you think is best. Right, let's go on. Where are we headed at? I don't even know. Okay, this is the right place. I save the game. Hello, shadows. Right over there. Stand back. For what just happened to the voice? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's something wrong with the voices. I barely hear them now. Okay, now it's even lagging the game. What the hell is going on? Oh. What the hell? Sorry. That's really lagging. I guess I'm gonna pause this right now, sadly. Uh, I can't continue recording like this. Like this. 
So thanks for watching and join me next time as I will explore the Shadow Temple. Until then, be well! Bye! This was the Loud on Gaming Show. Thanks for watching!